Hello, it's me, Zoa, <coughs> and today <coughs> well, I'm playing on uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus again, and I want to talk to you about um, the Sinjo Ruins from Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where you can take Arceus and get um, one of the three Sinjo Legendaries, Dialga Pantio Giratina, Cynthia would help you do that. Um, I was watching a video on YouTube and about Unsolved Mysteries of Sin, all right? And in one of these old verses, I can't remember which one, it actually tells us <coughs> what Sin actually was. It was, it sounds like it was a region, like Hisui was a region, Sin in the past. And now Sin sounds like a combination of Johto. And Sinnoh, doesn't it? It does. Johto and Sinnoh. Sinjo. Now, ever since the Gen 4 games of Diamond and Pearl, the shape of Sinnoh had always... I've always thought that it lay, that it lay directly north of both Kanto and Johto because of the shape of Mount Coronet. The shape of Mount Coronet actually looks like Mount Silver is just underneath it here, where Sonic is. And then there's, it goes up there and it's called Mount Coronet and there's Spear Pillar. There's also this cloud here, Covans and Landmass. This is post-game. It connect, could maybe connect to another part of Johto. And now I'm going to show up a map of um, mocked up about it. So I'm going to have to... Get the HDMI cable out of here and transfer it, so bear with me. Or should I say, um, Ursa Luna with me? <laughs> okay, bad pe bear pun, but it better be watching the black screen for two minutes, isn't it? <coughs> okay. So, here's the mock up of the map. How I always envisioned, always envisioned, as a, as, since Gen 4, this is how I always saw Sinnoh. Mount Silver, Mount Coronet. The part where the cloud is, is right here, this land mass. And would you look at that, it connects straight up there to where Battle Tower is. I know Battle Tower would be here, my bad. No, but there. Forget where that leads to again, but yes. Lake of Rage, the Red Gyarados event. It's not that far from the uh, lake there it is. Well, one day you go looking for a Red Gyarados there. Because it's nearby. At the beginning of Diamond and Pearl. And there's Kanto. So, Joto, Kanto, Sinnoh. The Sinjo region could actually be here. We never go. Find out more. By... The creator of Pokemon themselves. But yep. I think this is how I've always envisioned it. So I think that Sinnoh is indeed north of Kanto and Johto as I've always envisioned it ever since the original Gen 4 games came out and I saw the shape of Sinnoh. I've always thought that's how it would look. And with that cloud coverage in the game, the cloud coverage seems to be here. Right north, Equitique City, not far above where the Tin Tower and Brass Tower would be, yeah? Looks like there's a might connect onto the landmass where the tower is. Into Sinnoh. That's how I always envisioned it. Ever since Gen 4 originally came out, and it looks like it is the case. It might not be, yet to be seen, but it looks, the evidence is strongly connected together now. 
So I thought I'd do a video about it. So, my theory. So, we'll see, I'll have to see what happens. So, my theory about the Sinjor ruins, the Sinjor region, and how they all connect, how Sinjor and Kanto actually connect, physically, and like, in terms of the game law. But, I, of course, Kanto connects in with it other ways, but that's more Sinjo and about my theory of uh, the physical location of Sinjo in relation to Kanto and Joe and where always thought it has been. Mount Silva is, in Silva Cave is a part of Mount Covenant, part of the same mountain line. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and if there's anything you would like to add on, um, just drop me a comment below and yeah. I'll see you guys next time.